What's going on YouTube? Guess what? Alphabet and Amazon could give the Dow Jones a 21st century facelift. Okay, a facelift, guys. It's gonna change its face, okay? It's gonna, like, just, you know, change the Dow into a whole new person now. And you know what? It could help out Amazon and Google. Amazon and Google are two of the most dominant companies on Earth. Each is worth more than one trillion and is a leader in multiple industries. But neither stock is a member of Wall Street's most exclusive club, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That may soon change, guys. This is going to be insane. This is a huge catalyst for Google and Amazon. Now, if you want to be a part of the 20 to one stock split in the Dow Jones, you're gonna wanna get in now. This is gonna be crazy. Amazon announced late Wednesday that it planned to do a 20 for one stock split at the end of May. While that won't change the value of the company, it means that one share, which now costs around $2,900, would trade for a little less than 150 based on current prices. Alphabet announced its own 20 to one stock split last month. The split takes effect in July, the price of Alphabet, most widely available Class A shares trading under the ticker symbol Google, currently costs about $2,600, so if the split happened today, the price would be dropped to around $130. So what this means is you buy one share of Google and you wake up tomorrow and you now have 20 shares and it's $130 a share now, which could cause the price to even skyrocket because people would start trading options easier, you know, like it's cheaper to trade options when the stock price is only $130 compared to 2,600. Why does this matter for the Dow? The group of 30 venerable blue chip stocks is a price weighted average, not by market crap, <laughs> weighted index like the S&P. That means that if companies with quadruple digit stock prices were in the Dow, their moves would drastically skew the point value of the index every day. The company that currently has the biggest weighting in the Dow is United Health by virtue of its 480 a share stock price. One could argue that the only reason Alphabet and Amazon aren't already in the Dow is because they're prohibitively high stock price. After all, they, mu they are the third and fourth most valuable companies in the S&P 500 trailing only Apple and Microsoft. Microsoft has been in the Dow since 1999. Apple was added in the index in 2015 after its own big stock split. Of course, adding Alphabet and Amazon would mean that the two current Dow listed companies would have to be removed. There are several logical candidates. Older tech firms Intel and IBM could be kicked out to make room for Amazon and Alphabet. Oh my gosh, dude, why would you kick out Intel? Intel is a great company. Uh, that means if you have Intel and they kick Intel out of the Dow Jones, you better sell that now because once they freaking kick you out, that is going to screw up the stock price. If you believe in the company and you think in 20 years from now it's going to be worth more than what it is, then I don't know, keep it, but you could sell now and then buy back in at a cheaper price. That would make sense too. Walgreens, however, was just added to the Dow in 2018. It replaced, it replaced longtime Dow member General Electric. So I think they should kick out Walgreens. Um, the last major shakeup of the Dow took place in the summer of 2020. Salesforce, Amgen, and Honeywell were added, replacing ExxonMobil, Pfizer, and Raytheon. They kicked Pfizer out right when the pandemic happened. Uh, I bet that pissed them off. That's probably why they're destroying the world. So yeah, you know, the so apparently, you know, the Dow, you gotta be like a moderately priced uh, company in the stock market to be in the Dow. Once you, your stock price gets up so high, they don't really want you in there because it was meant to reflect the average price of stocks in the marketplace. It is a price weighted index. It uses the price per share for each stock included and divides the sum by common divisor, usually the total number of stocks in the index. And it was created in 1896. It was created in 1896. That's insane. So honestly, I've been saying that Google and Amazon are a good uh, company to get into. Now, this like two days ago, they said, you know, it should be in the Dow Jones. It might get in the Dow Jones, like once they do their stock split. That's crazy. That's like, that's really good for the company. And I think it'll actually bring, 
you know, their market cap up even more because it's now in the Dow Jones. That just means that it's like a super duper amazingly solid company that is a good investment. So, I mean, that's up to you though. If you want to get those stocks, then you can do that. I'm not telling anybody to do it and I don't even know if I'm going to do it. I know I did get a little bit of Amazon. If you truly want to make money over the next 10 years, a good thing you can do is to invest in ETFs such as VU, VTI. VTI is the uh, total world stock market. Anyways, this thesis is saying as social media shifts to being more video based, via reels and TikTok, conti YouTube continues to show resilience of its business model as demand is being met with a proven monetization strategy. In my opinion, Google services ads may experience short-term tailwinds as new inefficiencies in social media advertising caused by Apple's IDFA laws could push marketers to their platforms. So uh, Apple made these privacy laws and made it to where apps couldn't make as much money because you know they can't track you as well and YouTube doesn't really worry about Apple like owning it so much you know like Apple owns snapchat in a way because like they can just like reduce their uh, their income so easily like they did which caused all them stocks to tank like Facebook and snapchat and probably some others so Google owns YouTube and YouTube is crushing it you know like they have millions of users and that uh so it's saying that ads can are gonna rush over to youtube more to make their money off there than like uh snapchat and stuff because they can actually target people on youtube easier than they can on apple devices like in snapchat and stuff and facebook so that that could be a tailwind which is a, an increase in revenue and stuff for google stock I believe the potential for the services segment to increase operating leverage and produce high free cash flow will support G GCP and other bets run away to profitability. They may, this may uh, support growing returns and invested capital into the future. While not a factor in my core alphabet thesis, I do believe the 20 to 1 split will also provide short term tailwinds for the stock. While not a factor in my core alphabet thesis, I do believe the 20 to 1 stock split will also provide short term tailwinds for the stock. Yeah, so you know, them going to a lower price is going to cause more people to buy in so they can trade options and people just see it as a better deal. Also, the Dow is going to, the, them being added to the Dow possibly is going to really increase their stock price as well. So, any good time to get in is now while the market is crashing and Google's already crashing anyways. I mean, they're still really high right now, but like, I don't know, like, if you think it's gonna do better then I don't know, do whatever you wanna do, but I'm thinking about doing it. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind yet on Google though. So, we'll see what happens. Anyways, like, subscribe. Uh, like it for the algorithm, cause you know, nobody really gets to see my videos and I would like my channel to grow a little bit. So, please like it and possibly subscribe because 99% of people that watch my videos do not subscribe and thank you for watching my video have a good night